Um, hello, I'm Yuna. Um, the company I choose to study is Procter and Gamble's, which entered the Chinese market in 1988. As we all know, PNG hosts a number of brands involved in every aspect of people's life products. And SK2 is high priced specialty cosmetic product PNG owned, which oriented from Japanese. The, uh, the product contains Petera, an ingredient that helps uh, rejuvenate the skin and decrease women's wrinkles. By September of 2006, SK2 had 97 sales counters in China with more than 400 sales personnel. SK2 became the number two premium skin care brand sold in China, which attributed to 7% of the brand's global sales. However, in September 2006, it was discovered that SK2, manufactured in Japan and sold in China, contained prohibited components. PNG did not respond to this issue proactively. Initially, PNG denied there was a problem with the cosmetics, instead stating that it was working with the authorities to verify the vol validity of the findings of the type of allegedly contaminated SK2 products increased to 9. Although the company agreed to offer refunds to consumers, they set strict conditions for customers to refund defected products. One I found as consumer must present a hospital note saying that they are allergic to the product. Moreover, PNG temporarily withdrew all products only after a series of confrontations with consumers, which caused an angry group of customers kick down the front door at PNG's Shanghai office. I classify the affair into crisis because crisis is defined as an event or issue that requires decisive and immediate action from the organization. This action is triggered by public pressure and uh, intense media attention. In this scenario, PNG Cosmetic Line SK2 was involved in defect product issue, which caused huge pressure from consumers and great attention from media. So I think this is a crisis. So in this essay, I will start by introducing the pro. Uh, the background of the PNG and its high-priced cosmetic line SK2. In addition, I will describe the scenario the company was involved in and outline the response PNG do for the crisis. Next, I will analyze the merits and the defects of the response they used, like the pros as PNG responds the crisis quickly. While the cons are PNG used false strategies to challenge the authority of the government, and the company put an up arrogant attitude toward the event with strict refund conditions, exasperates all consumers. At the end of essay, I will use crisis communication strategies to suggest that PNG could use perception of high level of responsibility strategies to reduce the anger from the public instead of withdraw the Chinese market.